What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel and to today's video where I am going to be sharing my thoughts and opinions on G Organics. If you haven't heard of G Organics before, they are a UK based company that produces natural toothpastes, mouthwashes, and I have been really intrigued by them lately because I've seen them creeping more and more into mainstream supermarket shelves. That was a lot of S's. So if you do like the video and you find it helpful, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also please don't forget to hit subscribe, which is that red button down below so that you don't miss any more of my videos. But before I actually get into the products themselves, maybe a little bit of background on Georganics would be helpful. So they are a UK based company, as I mentioned, and they were founded in 2014 by a guy called Alejandro. And I hope I am pronouncing his name correctly. And he was actually manufacturing his own toothpaste at home, which I'm sure many of you may have already tried to do yourselves. He started supplying his local farmer's market and hey ho, Georganics is born. And what I really like about them and what they really stand by on their website is that this is a truly natural brand. A lot of these companies that produce natural products are not actually that natural when you actually go to look at the ingredients list. But one thing that's really important for me is that I can pronounce all the ingredients in an ingredients list and thankfully I knew what most of these were. I did have to do a tiny bit of research, but on the Georganics website, it has the list of ingredients and it has little tabs where you can go in and read all about that ingredient, where it comes from and what it is actually used for, which I found really, really helpful. I really love that they're sustainable. This is for sure a zero waste brand. So the packaging that the products were delivered in was a paper packaging. Absolutely loved that. I could throw it in the compost bin or in the recycling. They do not test on animals. Amazing using no animal testing and they say most of their products are vegan friendly. So for me, these are a lot of big tick boxes. Now, the only thing that I should note is that in the list of ingredients, it does say where each ingredient is sourced from. A lot of the ingredients are sourced abroad from quite far off places. So I just thought that you should know that there is some air travel associated with the manufacture and production of these products. So I got the beach toothbrush with a medium bristle. I got the oil pulling mouthwash, which is in the flavor spearmint or spearmint. And I also got the Georganics natural toothpaste and I got that in English peppermint. I thought that that would be the closest that I could find to the toothpaste that I was currently using. It says mineral rich and non-foaming formula with organic virgin coconut oil. And that is one of the first things that I would like you to know. So if you're expecting it to foam like a normal toothpaste, it is not going to do that. And it is saying that straight up off the bat, upfront and honest. So it does feel a little bit different to use, but it doesn't feel different in a bad way. My teeth didn't feel any less clean. It's just a little bit odd purely because you've probably spent however many years of your life using a foaming toothpaste. And I would say similarly, it doesn't taste the same as a normal toothpaste does. It does taste slightly different. And again, the flavor that I picked here was English peppermint. It wasn't bad, but I didn't particularly love it either. But again, I would say that is down to personal preference. And there are many different flavors of this toothpaste available on the website. And the instructions for using this is that you apply a pea-sized amount on a toothbrush. Again, I used the beach toothbrush and you brush for two minutes and rinse well. And I think this is because the there's coconut oil in here, so it feels like there's a little bit of a residue left on your mouth. Again, nothing that I disliked, but it's just a fact that's out there that you may experience when you use it. I really like that it says quite clearly that it is free from fluoride, glycerin, and SLS. So we're really using a really clean and natural product here. So would I use this again and will I keep up using it? Yes, I feel like this is the best alternative to the tube toothpaste that I found so far. So I would definitely have this in my cupboard at all times and I think this is a really, really great one to have handy for traveling as well because it is not a liquid and it is under that 100 mil allowance for plane travel so this will be coming with me for sure on any trips that I am taking in the future. Moving on to the oil pulling mouthwash now this is something that was completely new to me and to be honest when I bought it I didn't entirely look at what I was buying. So when I did buy this and it said oil pulling, I was a tiny bit confused. So oil pulling is actually an old Ayurvedic technique for cleaning teeth. So essentially what you do is you take one to two teaspoons of oil and you leave it in your mouth for about 20 minutes. 
you're looking at me and you're thinking, oh my God, Sinead, 20 minutes? What, this is so strange. But that is exactly the recommended amount of time that you use this mouthwash for. So this is not your typical mouthwash. This is a very, very different process. And honestly, I have really come to love it because I have experienced really great benefits. One of the benefits that I experienced is that I actually suffer from bleeding gums. And I have found that when I'm flossing, my gums do not bleed nearly as much. So keeping that oil in your mouth for between five and 20 or 30 minutes allows the oils to kill the bacteria, break them down, which obviously eliminates bad breath and increases oral hygiene generally. And one mistake that I did make when I was using this was that I sat there for ages, swishing it from side to side and my jaw was aching until I read that actually it works just by leaving the oil to sit in your mouth. So you don't have to do any crazy swishing around for a full half an hour. You can literally just leave the oil sit in your mouth and it does the exact same job. So that's one tip that I learned the hard way. Georganics uses a type of coconut oil called fractionated coconut oil. Fractionated coconut oil maintains a liquid state at more cool temperatures. Again, so if you live in a climate like Ireland or the UK, you're not gonna probably end up with that giant solidified mass of coconut oil for your significant other or members of your family to find about two weeks later when they go to clean the sink. <laughs> it's spearmint flavor, which I didn't love, didn't hate. It was just spearmint flavor and that was absolutely fine. And with the oil pulling, you do feel that oily sensation in your mouth when you're finished naturally because you have just had oil in your mouth. So again, similarly to the toothpaste, if you want to rinse really well, then I would do that. But if you don't mind the feeling of oil in your mouth, then you're good to go about your business. I didn't personally mind it, but another thing to just keep in mind when you are using this oil pulling mouthwash. So did I like this product? Yes, I thought it was really unique and I got introduced to a practice that I didn't even know existed, learned something new and experienced some really nice benefits. So I would say that this is something that is going to stay in my routine. And again, this is 100 mil. So if you're traveling, it can go with you. I really like that it's that nice compact size. And because you're only using one to two teaspoons, it will last quite a while. And I only do this maybe twice a week. So it's not something that I'm doing every Every single day so you do get good longevity from this product for the price and lastly then I just really want to quickly mention the beach toothbrush that I bought so the handle is completely compostable in home compost systems so if you don't have a brown bin at home or a supplier that deals with food waste you can actually throw this into your compost bin at home which I really really like the bristles are nylon so they do need to be cut off and disposed of in the waste bin, but in the overall context of a plastic toothbrush, this is a really wonderful option. I like that every tree that is cut down to make these is replaced essentially immediately. So we have a constant sustainable level of trees to make these toothbrushes. This is actually my second brush, but I did find that the bristles lasted a really long time. Again, it's gonna depend on how hard you brush. It's gonna depend on how often you brush your teeth. There are a number of factors that go into how long your brush lasts. The organics will recommend that you change your brush about every three months. For some people, it is sooner than that. For me, it was sooner because I tend to brush quite a lot during the day. But for the price, I felt like this was really good value for money. It lasted a really long time and the bristles didn't go haywire after just a couple of brushes. They stayed fairly intact for a decent amount of time. All right, so let's just take a second and wrap up my general opinions on the organics and on the products that I bought. Did I like them? Yes, I did. Were they different to what I expected? I would say yes, they were. I've tried a lot of different brands and different alternatives to toothpaste and mouthwashes, as I've mentioned, none of which I particularly loved. So I would say this is probably fairly up there on the list of products that I would repurchase. I didn't enjoy or dislike the flavor. I think it was just kind of there to let me know that I was brushing my teeth. So that could be something that you can play around with if you buy the product and you don't love the flavor. Try a different option before giving up completely. I really loved the longevity of the toothbrush. I thought it was really quality made. I love that I can compost the handle and I love that there is no plastic waste associated with it. The oil pulling mouthwash is very, very different. It's a different technique to what you're used to, but there were some really brilliant benefits that I experienced myself, not just anecdotally from what I'd read online. I love that the company stands for sustainability, for natural ingredients. I love that we can pronounce all of the names. I love that they pay a living wage. I love that the packaging is all recyclable or compostable. I was also really impressed with the price point. So overall, I would give Georganics a go. 
see what you think about it. My experience has been really, really positive. Again, as I said, if you don't like the flavor of one of the products, try something else before saying, nope, not for me. And if that's the case for you, that's absolutely fine. We will continue to plug on our zero waste journey to find other alternatives. And so if you do give your organics a go, please don't forget to let me know how you got on in the comment section down below. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to hit subscribe so that you don't miss any more of my reviews and my zero waste videos. And I'm looking forward to seeing you back on my channel really soon. Bye!